there was a, a very specific moment that I remember I was in Spain with my, my parents when I was 12 and um, I, I went to a bookstore and there was a book there on yoga, it was called Integral Yoga from Sri Aurobindo and I was 12 and I looked at this book and somehow the, um, the urge to buy this book just came in <laughs> and I just bought this book and my Spanish was, you know, was fine, I, that's my mother tongue but the, the, the content of the, um, the book was very complex and I read the book and I remember reading the book and the impression is still alive today even after all these years that there was some energy in the book that the book contained the energy I didn't really understand all the words but somehow there were codes that being transferred to me so that was my beginning of with yoga and after that uh, you know spiritual development and spiritual training has been part of my journey from from the beginning so uh, around 16 I had a little bit of back problems because I was playing soccer and then I started doing some physiotherapy and then the idea of doing a yoga practice you know emerged straight away so I bought some more books connected with some some teaching there and uh, started uh, emerging and and after three to six months of practice I really started entering into this state of, of bliss and joy and everything was aligned and I was getting lots of friends uh, my first girlfriend appeared and you know it was like really a very transformative experience uh, at that moment. So I realized that there was something that was being activated inside of me that was um, yeah, powerful. All that was happening in Switzerland, very secure, very safe environment, you know, great uh, kids, nobody was getting in trouble, no drugs, nothing weird, you know, very easy childhood, my parents loved me, you know, I, did, I don't come from a traumatic background at all. It was a very easy flow childhood, uh, successful at school. Uh, once I finished uh, high school, went to university, uh, studied uh, geology. The reason why I studied geology was because of the lifestyle, of wanting to live in extreme environments, you know, go to the North Pole or be somewhere in a desert in Sahara. So that was the, the calling to be in, uh, in extreme environments. And um, I, I did all that, you know, I, I did my, my uh, master's degree. Uh, and then I started a PhD research in Costa Rica. I spent lots of time in the tropical jungle there mapping uh, the south of Costa Rica. And um, during that time, during those three years of, of PhD and research, I um, started connecting, connecting deeper with the spiritual school training, mystery school, and uh, started learning about uh, Kabbalah and um, different uh, you know, systems of, of wisdom. And after three years of doing that and very intense meditation, I, I realized, okay, I want to take, um, you know, uh, a U-turn here in my life and dedicate my life fully to spiritual exploration, personal development, spiritual training. And so I came back from one of my expeditions and went straight to my director and said, you know what, I'm done with my research. I have something else which is calling. And I love geology, you know, I love science. It's not that I didn't like it anymore, but there was something else calling that was way stronger. And so when I quit, it was like a big step, you know, I had a little bit of money left, reserve, but I engaged thinking that I would leave um, my career for about three months and then come back and start again. But instead of leaving for three months, I left for one and a half year. I spent a year in New Zealand and went to Canada. And I spent time in different uh, ashrams and spiritual training, uh, spiritual centers, and then actively started teaching meditation and uh, other spiritual techniques. And so um, that journey that started in 1992, uh, I'm still on it today, <laughs> you know, I never went back to my career. At one point I, I wanted to do uh, an MBA, you know, get some, some business degree to be able to to gain some knowledge there, but that didn't go through. I, instead, I went traveling, I spent time living in nature. So I dedicate my life to a full-on uh, spiritual training. And I stayed in, in this, uh, this school with different gurus, different teachers during those 12 years. Um, and um, around 2000, I, um, the, the idea started emerging to launch my own, my own thing and my own teaching. It was just an organic thing, not some egotistical desire. It was more like a natural evolution of where I was at. And so, um, 2002, I got the domain name vitalcoaching.com, 
and uh, from that point I dedicated most of my energy to creating content, teaching, coaching, leading workshops and, and so on. And this has been going on for like, you know, now 2015, so 13 years of, uh, of exploration. And uh, there is an, now there is no end to it. It's like, uh, it's still on. The, um, <clears throat> you know, the coaching format, when you, when you communicate, it's a lot about conversation, right? It's conversation-based. When I talk about Vital Tantra, I talk about something which, which is much more energetic. The word Tantra for me doesn't mean a set of s sexual practices. Tantra for me means teaching of life mastery. So it's something which is way wider than just a set of sexual practices. Sex is part of life, and yes, part of what I teach is like how to optimize your sexual energy. But uh, sex is only one fraction, you know, maybe 10% of what the Vital Tantra system is about. So right now, Vital Coaching, Vital Tantra, they totally overlap. You know, it's like two brands, but they come together in the same vehicle, which is what, what I teach. So when I'm having a coaching session, it's going to be much more conversation-based. When I'm having a Tantra session with somebody, it's going to be much more energetic-based. Like the kind of Vital Force techniques that we did this morning, that would be Vital Tantra. Because it's, it's much more about activating. It has a more uh, spiritual connotation to it, more unified field of consciousness. And it's like two streams, you know, the coaching and the yoga and tantra stream coming together and really merging into this, this vehicle. Yeah, so this is my, my journey. <laughs> this is where I am at.